Ladies and gents, welcome to the Gaming Apocalypse. I'm Wraith, and this is Trepang 2. Before we jump in, just a quick reminder, you are an awesome person. So, keep being awesome to others. Alright? Okay, let's jump in and see what the next mission is going to be like, shall we? Let's go find out about missions. Also, we have this big... I'm not sure what it's supposed to be. I read over the debrief. Hmm? Lots of crazy shit in your last mission. Yeah, that's putting it kindly. That's what Horizon doesn't understand. Anomalies aren't meant to be played with. In one blink of an eye, that whole black side turned into a crater. It's a miracle you didn't disappear along with it. <laughs> Glad to have you back, 106. Thank you. Random, but thank you. Weird. Why am I hearing random stuff here now? I do like that I've kept I this whatever gun this is. Really? Welcome back to base 106. It's kind of impressive. We're still trying to find out what caused that crater. But one thing's for sure. As long as Horizon's still active, everyone's in danger. What exactly is Horizon doing, though? Like, I've been on three story missions and I still don't fully understand what the heck it is that's going on. Also, what kind of gun is this? Because, like... It's belt fed, but it also looks like it has three barrels, so it's not like an M249 saw. What kind of gun is this supposed to be? Weird. Oh well. At least I've also got my other gun. Uh, let's see here. What missions are available now? So, we just completed Jorvik Castle. Or I'm sorry, no. We've completed Jorvik Castle. That was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was the cultist place. We just did Site 83. So, we have a bunch of these side missions. I'm probably not doing them. Just because they don't seem to actually do anything for the story. They just seem to do their own thing. Yeah, because we did the Gunnarsson Complex. And that was just like 45 minutes of a horde mode, basically. It didn't push anything forward. I'm also, but then again, I'm also noticing, like, there's no other campaign missions except for Horizon HQ. So is this just final mission of the game? I guess so. We've finally done it. We destroyed Horizon's unethical research projects. We did. We exposed their darkest secrets to the world. Their stocks are crumbling. Employees are quitting en masse. The company lies in ruins. CEO and executives are hiding out in Horizon's corporate headquarters. Eliminate them and destroy Horizon once and for all. See, now I feel bad because I feel like I was supposed to be doing all of these side missions. To, like, uncover more of what's going on. <sighs> Screw it. Let's go do the oil rig. Suspicious oil platform located by Horizon Shell Company. Investigate the facility. We've been monitoring Horizon's transfer logs for some time now. Apparently, their oil rig has been importing more supplies than it's been exporting oil. I want to know why. I mean, there's a dozen different reasons to why, but sure. 
It still freaks me out that there's nobody around here. In this entire freaking place. Actually, hang on. Uh, okay. I'm, right I'm already fully topped up on armor and health. Somehow I have a laser, even though I don't know how to get the laser, which is interesting. Do I have anything for this? Yeah, see, like... It looks like an M249, until you get to, like, right here. And then you see it's got three barrels, which it shouldn't have. Bayonets? I'm sorry, what? Bayonets and smart gun. I am intrigued by this gun. I can't get anything spare parts wise for it, but I'm still intrigued enough to keep it with me. Well, apparently Intel said there was some freaky shit at that oil rig, but uh, they ain't said nothing else. I don't like it. Good to know, Quartermaster Man. Good to know. Alright. Get cozy. This is gonna be a long flight. Well, I mean, it's an oil rig in the middle of the ocean, so yes, it probably will be a long flight. Not much can be done about that. Somehow I'm just in the middle of the thing. Oh, so I can buy stuff if I have the cash. Oh, apparently I can... Interesting. Started blasting. So, uh, I just heard something open. Ah, what's this? It's weird. I thought I had this gun out, but apparently I didn't. Long lead up time before it actually starts to shoot. Actually, if I have the f ammo for it, I might as well dual wield, right? Okay, is there anything else scattered around here? I'm supposed to investigate this area, I might as well investigate it thoroughly, right? Laptop? Something blue over here. Anything? Anything at all? Opening a crate. Ooh, okay, so there's a rivet gun up here. That's good. Or bolt gun, whatever they want to call it. Anything? Okay, we got a shotgun here. 
I mean, this little upper catwalk area has got all kinds of goodies. Armor plates. Anything goodie up here? Or is this just where I started at? I think this is just where I started at. But we need to check the area out thoroughly. Okay, assault rifle there, armor plate there. Oop. More ammo for these guns. Health kit, uh, armor plate, more ammo for these guns. Alright. Stuff spread all over the place, isn't it? Grenade launcher. That might come in handy. Depending on what all they throw at me. Another shotgun. Oh yeah. We're gonna have some fun with this, potentially. That looks like a server rack that I'm supposed to hack into. Ooh, more ammo. Yay! Download data. UFO signals. Object continues to emit radio signals towards the Cassiopa, Cassiopeia constellation, specifically towards the SN1572 supernova remnant. Carbon dating of the debris suggests the craft is at least several hundred years old. Contents of the signals are still being deciphered. So they've found UFOs. Oh, apparently this is one of one. So this is the only piece of intel to be found. So it is like last time. Except it's gonna be a lot harder. No, oh, I just went in supplies now. There we go. Get that third turret up and activate it. Okay. Oh, 
go as far as I need to. happy as hell, aren't you? Yeah. There we go. Y'all a little bit. Nope, 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 nope. I am not interested in dealing with that. Thank you very much. <laughs> okay, well. Now I have some guys on my side. Wherever the bad guys are. Hello? Bad guys. Do I want to come out and play? I got a nice big fancy gun to use on you. Does that matter? Is there a health kit? Yeah. Um. I 
unleash two assault squads onto this map, and it seems like they took care of everything for me. Because there's no bad guy spawning now. Hello? Oh, did I break the game by buying an assault squad? I think I actually did. What? Hold on for a minute, folks. Okay, we're restarting from a checkpoint. We're gonna try this again. Uh huh. Sure you will. I think I saw. Okay. Hi. All right. Now that he's here. Hi, guys. No prisoners. Was that really all it took? <laughs> Are you serious? That's it? Oh man. Like, I don't even know that that was... Raven here. I'm en route to the LZ. Is that really even worth the time? So we blew up a UFO that was apparently still functional. I don't know if this was really the right decision, but sure. I will give this game this much. It loads really fast. Yeah, apparently. Oh, it refilled my ammo on this gun at least. Whatever the hell we just saw. Yeah, I think uh I think I see your point. Raven, how about we keep this off the net? Yeah, copy that. Okay. Well, that side mission went a lot faster at least. Six. I'm getting a lot of conflicting reports on that mission. You uh, mind filling me in? Classified, right? Shoot. Do I seem like the talkative sort? Welcome back, one zero six. I don't feel like I learned anything from that mission, though. I don't know. Do I just keep doing the side missions? Hmm. I feel like I ought to go ahead and just do the side missions. Just because if this is actually the end of the game, and it appears to be the end, because I don't see anything else popping up, then this game is way too short for what it is. So... I think we're going to go ahead and do the side missions. I'm guessing... Hmm, where do I want to start at? I guess we can take care of the colliery? Colliery? Surviving cultists hold up in an abandoned coal mine. Recruiting followers rearm themselves by carrying out guerrilla raids at night. Need to eliminate them. All right. I think that's going to be our next mission, but... Forces down to Horizon Airplane, carrying high-tech weapons to be sold to an African warlord. Find the cargo, make sure it's destroyed. Unfortunately, it crashed into a former nuclear testing site in Algeria. 
Air is heavily irradiated, so watch your Geiger counter as you... Oh, that's going to be fun. It's going to be tremendous fun. The Iron Dragon Data Center, a highly secured facility housing thousands of servers for Horizon's operations in the Pacific. Break in, retrieve confidential data from their servers. That's so basically the same as the Gunnarsson, Gunnarsson complex. An unidentified structure. Satellites tracked three armed individuals running in separate directions from the structure this morning at 0330. Identified as Horizon from their uniforms by 0820. All three had expired from exhaustion or exposure to the elements. Investigate the structure. Satellite scans initially detected four or five inhabitants. Expect armed resistance from any survivors. Okay, that one sounds like it's going to be creepy. So... Yeah, I think we're going to start off here and just do clockwise. And then we'll hit Horizon HQ as the final thing. So... We'll get to that next episode, I guess, right? Alright, I feel kind of bad because I'm, I'm going back on what I originally said where I was not going to do side missions at all because they just don't seem like they're worth it. And they still kind of don't seem like they're worth it. Like, they're not progressing the story that much. I'm finding a little bit of info here and there, but not enough to really give me a solid story. So... But at the same time, the, I mean, the game's only got one, two, three, four, five campaign missions and an equal number of, actually, I think it's got six side missions. So it feels weird to like, hey, I'm only going to do half of the content of the game when it's this small an amount of content overall. Like, it'd be one thing if it was some massive game with like a hundred plus hours of campaign and then another, like, 50 worth of side missions. That, I, fine, whatever, I'm, I'm skipping the side stuff. But this feels like uh, there's not a good reason to skip the side stuff. So, I guess we'll play through it and see what happens. So if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. I'll keep the YouTube overlords happy. And if you want to see what's going to happen with the Kellington Colliery, who knows, maybe I'll be able to actually pronounce that correctly next time. Well, hit the subscribe button. That way you'll know when I upload that video. Till next time, thanks very much for watching. Hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Remember that life does get rough sometimes, so good luck, have fun, stay awesome. And I'll catch you in the next one.